better way to start your week than a healthy dosage of number six with cheese. And today, we're having the Papa John's spicy pepperoni rolls. I don't know why. Pepperoni rolls. Wow, I'm a terrible person. Yeah, and today's episode is a dedicated to episode. What happens is we do our YouTube lives. You guys support us and send us uh, uh, donations, which we wouldn't be able to do this show without you guys. I'm not even kidding. Those types of donations which really run this show. And we, you can spin the wheel if you donate 25 bucks. Bobby Hall, donate $25. Got to spin the wheel. He got a dedicated episode to him. And so we're going to do a little shout out for his podcast, Talking Shop Podcast, which we've actually been on. Oh, so yeah. You should definitely go check it out. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is, whole episode is for Bobby Hall and Talking Shop. And for the whole audience who donates on the YouTube Live, you guys are all our heroes, specifically Bobby Hall. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Bobby, I'm interested to hear what you think of Papa John's. Uh, comment below during this video. All right, time to eat. Okay, eight of these bad boys for six bones. Spicy pepperoni rolls, limited time, Papa John's acquired jump cut. Corey Wagner, that's him, second angle. All right, there we go. So this is our little spicy pepperoni rolls. Oh, it comes with the garlic dipping, I dig that. Um, I'm gonna grab this one to show it off. So, yeah, cheese, uh, bacon, or no, pepperoni. Pepperoni. I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Cheese, pepperoni. And jalapenos rolled up in a little bit of uh, pizza dough. Ham, ground beef. Oh, there's ham, ham and ground beef in there? <laughs> no, 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 just pepperoni. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I tried to smell it. Yeah, that'll do it. It all just smell like fatty meats. Yeah. I think we had the jalapeno poppers at one point. If I'm not mistaken, we like those. So I think it's the same thing with pepperoni. Oh, cool. Pretty sure. Probably for more money. Same, they built the jalapeno poppers like this? I think so. Open-ended? These look like those things that roll through uh, deserted towns. Tumbleweeds? Look how freaking dry these look. Is yeah. that yeah. Just the, like, is that just pizza crust folded over? Oh my god, it's Yeah, I don't know. Too. I do love the spicy garlic cup. Yeah, dude. That's one of the goaded sauces in my opinion. Photographer, photographer for Jameson? I mean, that'd be a good gig. And what else? Who, who's out there taking pictures of Jameson ads? She could be like me, though. I take B roll of like pet stores. Well, I don't know. Be, like Red Star. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Just like, go and document. That's all a good the... point, yeah. I love how enamored you are. Uh, anyway, with a camera. I you do, you're a camera. Do you want a mini box rip? Perforated. Yeah, let's do it. Part of the show. Okay. I've never done a mini box rep. Yeah, dude. A Monday of firsts. That's like the perfect slat to eat off of. Yeah, man. I'm dumping in that. Dumping. <laughs> Boop. I'm dunking in that right away. Oh, it's. Oh, it's thick. Thick. Yeah, oh. dude. I'm not even gonna like wait. Ooh, yeah, it's supposed to be. Boy. God, why is it? That's. There's no. Clarified butter. There is zero liquid to this. Oh my. That's. Just, Looks like icing. Yeah, it's kind of kind of creepy. I don't like that. Well, I guess it's official. I don't know why I like felt like I moved around because I was like, see how it's not see? sloshing? Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's eat these. I'm kind of afraid of this, but I'll do a little dip. Spicy pepperoni rolls. Cheers. Cheers. I was in the fridge. It's so cold. Mmm, that makes sense. All right, I'm not doing any more of the dip. They ruined that for me. This is good by itself. I really like this. I dig this because there's a lot of like pizza places like Little Caesars, Domino's, Pizza Hut. I like a different like appetizer like this. So let me just like wings yeah, and I bread. Like that. I like that there's like, and I do think they're pretty good. Yeah. I kind of dig it. This is like my speed. The jalapenos are mm -hmm. very canned. Yeah, it's very, yeah. And they're very sure. prevalent. When I have canned jalapenos, I don't mind them, but they need to be like really on the back seat. Right. But because at least for that first bite, there's not much in there. When I bit into it, I got a lot of like that canned jalapeno mm. flavor, which yeah. I don't mess with. I'd rather like, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Usually it's like an accent, not a main player. Now, at least on that first bite, it was a main player. Let me try another one. Yeah, like the canned jalapenos are even worse than the jarred ones. <laughs> oh, I was thinking jarred, but. There are canned ones though, they're mm -hmm. even more like processed. I do dig this though. Hey, this is a good shareable yeah. thing. I dig it. Not for me. Another critique, like pepperonis. Mm -hmm. I've like gone on a spree before. I've eaten too much pepperoni by myself. Yeah. Um, like this, that particular, like, there's like a pepperoni grease that's super specific. Uh huh. And I don't dig it. And that's what this is. That's what this is. It's like because it's like the stars of the show of this are really like, I mean, you're definitely getting a lot of cheese and a little bit of bread, but it's like heavy on the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. I'm really getting a lot of that pepperoni grease. And then I'm getting bites of that uh, candor jarred jalapenos. Yeah. And those flavors I don't really dig. I like those to be. 
background players. I, I respect that train of train of thought. I think what I really dig about it so much it is the like layered crispy peps. That's funny because mm -hmm. like when you get them on a pizza, they're not this crispy a lot of the times. I like how much like how different they are in this than a pizza. Yeah. As far as Papa John's goes, like mm -hmm. these are not the best thing in the world, but I like it as a promo item. Like I'm digging this. I feel like if they were crispier, I'd dig it more. Because it's not even like the pepperoni that's getting me. It's like this. It tastes like there's a lot of pepperoni grease. There like is a lot, a lot of, of pepperoni flavor grease. It's so like concentrated because it's all right it's there. So that's what it is. It's the concentration of those things that I enjoy those things. What? Excuse you, cabbie. <laughs> hey, he's a fucking cabbie. Yeah. I totally get it. Like, I, for some reason, I'm. it's my thing. Yeah, no, I get that. You know what? Don't take this the wrong way, but this seems like something that someone from Redford would enjoy. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. It would. seems like, and I mean that as like a, like a small town American person mm -hmm. would, would be like digging these. Yeah. Also, but me, I'm very worldly. When you talk about Redford, <laughs> no, shut up. No, no you're not. not. No, when you no, talk no, about look, Redford, just look at me in this mustache. Just set for the future, though, just so you know, you don't have to set things up as like to not take offense. Anything you say about Redford, like people from Redford don't take offense to anything. We've had it all said. So, no, like, no. you don't even need to worry about it. Are you going to eat this one? I think I'm done because, like, I've had enough of them. Do this. They're going to get points off for real, though, with how that sauce is. Look at this stuff, bro. I got to tell you this. You're telling me these are crispy? Those aren't. <laughs> those you've proven those aren't. <laughs> the, here's what happened, I think. These edges, see uh -huh. how crispy that is? Oh, and then the Very inside's crispy. all floppy. The crispy edge, floppy and center. Then so like all of these, these are like basically uncooked, dude. Keep this going. is what it's I like don't my like. Cheeks. I was wondering because I was like, I, they do look crispy, but mine, mine weren't edges. crispy at all. It's, it's just the edges. I think it's a good bite. They bamboozled you, bro. I'm fine being bamboozled for yeah, five, as long as you like for it. For five ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, honestly, if you like it, who cares? This is definitely something that like. I just like doing this. Now. Well, I got a good comment for people. Oh, I cool. just keep doing my cheek. <laughs> when you order pizza from like a, a fast. Are we doing the comment moment now? Is or do you okay? want to save it? Yeah, I guess we can do it now. Yeah, What's the matter? Uh, do you want to tell them to like Like it? the video, that helps a lot. <laughs> um, and then we also have you guys comment. Oh, I got a little rumor I hit his knuckles. <laughs> gonna, <laughs> when you build out an order, you get like pizza from a place like this always. What is your go-to side at a fast food pizza place? There's wings, there's bread, oh some people get salads. There's like the oven baked sandwiches. Look at that coat, bro. Death, Death row, row coat, bro, looking. And he's walking here. Damn, dude. It looks like my Woodmore Band Bomb coat. If anybody's mm -hmm. familiar with that, probably no one is. People Except that follow you online have seen that That's a few times. Sick. Anyways, sorry. What's your favorite side? I know mine, but I'm gonna save it for the comments. I'm gonna comment mine too. Scroll down and check it out. I think what I love so much about Papa John's, which is a sentence I don't say a lot, is they, they do seem to come up with things that are so different than their competitors. Yeah. I don't love their pizza at all. I love their size. Keep in mind, yeah, we're huge Papa John's haters. Traditionally. But those things are great. Like, we love the uh, Papadilla. Yeah. I do feel like we did enjoy the jalapeno poppers. And I think yeah. they're one of the only- The breads, too. I remember us loving the breads. Yeah, they're only- they're like the only crew that's actually like doing innovative stuff in the fast food pizza world other than like Little Caesars is like doing stuff every they now do and weird again, stuff too Papa John's does really well that's a good point man I'm glad you pointed out they do great sides Papa John's I think kills the sides for a fast food pizza mm -hmm. and I do call it's it fun. fast food pizza because like what it is. it's there if you order on the app it's ready in 10 minutes yeah, we, what do you want us to call it chain pizza like okay yeah. you can do that what do you guys want from us? We'll do it. Whatever helps okay. get you closer to finish. Well, let's call you daddy. Fine. I'll call you. I'll call you daddy. All right. We'll comment that. I'm gonna comment mine. <laughs> what a transition. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll call you daddy and you know comment whatever we just said there. <laughs> <laughs> you want good pizza? Go watch that truck video from last week. With the discount when you order on the app, these were five forty nine. Uh, out of five, That's a good price. What is uh, five forty nine divided by eight? That would be forty nines. What is five fifty divided by eight? That'd be how much each one of those is. Five fifty divided by five fifty divided by eight. Forty two fifty. Uh, eight times five is fifty. Eight and, times five is not fifty. Or wait, no. Eight <laughs> times five is forty. I mean. So then another two of those, seven ish. <laughs> A little less, it's like six point something or other. Holy You're the smarter one with numbers. You need to. It's gonna be right. It's You're gonna, gonna be, be right. six and some change. All right, 550 divided by eight. 68 cent. Almost 69 cents. Yeah, six, Perfect. between okay. six and seven. So 69 cents I just a do roll. Math in a really autistic In way. a weird way. Yeah. 69 cents, I think, is a good price for that. For I each think one? it's really good price. Because yeah. I feel like if you ate all those yourself, I think you'd be like, you, you could almost make a meal out of that. Hurt. 
It's like filling, like all that cheese yeah. and bread. So that, wow, that adds up to a price. couple slices of za for sure. Maybe mm -hmm. three. Out of five, like tubes of pepperoni. How many tubes of pepperoni? Now, if you were editing this video, you'd use my face. I know <laughs> yeah, you think that's yeah, funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many tubes of pepperoni do you give the uh, spicy pepperoni rolls with the coagulated garlic quarry? This is where it's great to go first because there's this like psychological thing where when I say all these things first, it's gonna completely discredit all this good stuff you're gonna. My score doesn't matter. <laughs> Floppy pepperoni, too much pepperoni grease. The jalapenos aren't fresh. The price was good. Yeah. I did enjoy that. Mm -hmm. All around, for real though, I think it just wasn't for me. Like I do think there's gonna be a lot of people who do like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, for some reason it didn't do it for me. So if you're one of those people like, and I I, I do, once I pull those pepperonis out, you this it. is what it drew it out to me. It's the the uncooked pepperoni. Yeah. I, that's the flavor. Once you cook pepperonis and get them crisp, I think that that flavor like kind of dilutes a little bit. I think, it was I think it was undercooked. I think yeah. so. I think, um, and it might not be able to cook those pepperonis because they're they're not getting any, they're covered on one half by cheese and on the other half by bread. How are you going to cook them? It's an anomaly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. on the pizza, it makes sense. They're getting heat because right. they're not covered on the top. What are you right. going to throw, which I do do this, sometimes pre-cook them do, and I've then put them. That, right. But they're not going to do that. They're not. So it's probably always going to be undercooked pepperonis mm. and that has a specific type of like grease release. Grease release. And flavor profile that I don't enjoy, so not that good to me. Um, I'm actually gonna go a shade below average because I really, you know, actually price is good enough, I'm gonna give them a 2.6. Uh, yeah, once you dissected it like an owl pellet, like we're mm -hmm. in sixth grade, you know, really seeing that it really was just the outside, and then once you get to the inside, it's kind of like undercooked and gooey. Yeah. You know, I like the, so what I would do with those, if I was a disgusting human, is I would take one bite of the edges and leave the centers. Yeah. <laughs> That's like disgusting. Super rich. Yeah, give some to your cat or something. Or you can do like a weird surgery move where you like pull it out, mm -hmm. fry it, and then stuff it back yeah, in. Yeah, do a bunch of that. <laughs> I thought they were really good as a unit, but I don't think I would ever get those again. I actually think the jalapeno ones without the pepperoni are better. I could definitely Personally. see that. Personally. I could see that. Sometimes adding more stuff isn't always better. Yeah, sometimes it don't make it better to and add good not. ingredients. And it did not. Um, I'm gonna go a touch over average. I still like liked it as a whole, but I'm not gonna like recommend those to people. I'm gonna go just a, just a straight up three. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Like, I'm glad I tried them, but yeah. I'll never get them again. I'll say this though, like, if you do find yourself liking that type of thing, I think it's great. A man of my own stature gets the RC Cola or whatever. I never that's get That's uh, off brand. That's, uh. Yeah, I always get Cola. That's I don't Aldi get Cola. Cola. Yeah, yeah, that's my move. It's like 72 cents. Mm -hmm. I do think that the shareability of that yep. and the price out filling is, I think it's kind of a nice thing if you do have a group of friends who enjoy that. I think it's a great thing to get with friends. Me too. It's a great thing for the table when you get a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, two great things you said here today shareability and grease release. Grease if release. You're, if you're like someone's taking notes at home, that's, that was going to be my highlight. Yeah. My thing. yeah. Um, let us know if you guys uh, have an uh, appetizer thing with pizza that you really enjoy. Maybe there's a specific thing at a specific place that you swear by. Like, for example, I think the Domino's chicken wings are the worst thing on the planet. Oh, oh you're doing worse. Worse. I'm not doing the best. I was say, that's, one to stay, the that's one to stay away from. What's the best one? Yeah, we'll chat with you in the comments. Boneless? The boneless chicken at Domino's is, a tr is an atrocity. I get it because it's so cheap, it's, though. Oh, I know. There, there's a reason it's great because it's like everything's yeah, five bucks. Yeah. Whatever. Let's I don't just... even mind it. I'm, I'm a piglet, though, so. You're disgusting. You have to, like, get those at home and cook them. No, nah, I just be raw dogging that. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video on this channel Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then this upcoming Friday, we got a banger gold belly video. So a whole week of videos. So come on back. This boss took our shade. No, gave us shade, took our sun. I need to get out of here and stop talking. Bye.